Hi everyone, it's Ray with Tarot Living. Thanks for joining. So I am doing a series of videos where we're going to pull tarot cards and we're going to talk about them. So make sure you get a pen and paper because this one, this video I'm actually going to have you pause after we pull the cards and write down all of your ideas and then we're going to carry on and I'm going to tell you my ideas. Remember the tarot is an art, not a science. So leave a comment as to what what you think of the cards everyone's going to think of something differently and also you're depending on the client you have in front of you their energy is going to dictate how you might read those cards so just remember that you know it's not right and wrong it's just ideas i'm giving you my ideas and then you also would have your own unique and wonderful ideas. So the video that I just did, now I don't know what order I'm gonna post in, but what, what I ended up doing was changing up the two card thing to doing three cards. And we're going to do a three card reading. The first card is main situation, second card is the barrier or any challenge, and the third card is the outcome. So last video, we did that reading but we asked about a career question. So this time we're gonna ask about a relationship question just to make it different. So that's what we're going to do. We're actually gonna pull cards right now and I've already been shuffling these cards, <laughs> crazy. So I don't need to be shuffling anymore, but I am going to cut these cards and I'm just picking cards. I don't know, do I want that one? Yes, I want that one, okay. So I'm just gonna pick cards. So this is the first card. So the current situation is the moon. Ooh, pretty exciting actually. The difficulty or barrier is the Five of Cups. Okay, that's kind of stressful. And then the outcome card is the Four of Pentacles. Okay, those are really interesting cards. So I'm gonna give them to you again. And then I'm going to have you stop the video. Moon is the main situation, the current situation. The Five of Cups is the difficulty or the barrier. The Four of Pentacles is the outcome. So it's how we're going to get out of that barrier situation. Okay? So really interesting cards. So pause, go ahead, write a few things down, and then come back. Okay, so I hope you had a chance to write a few things down. So here we go. This is my interpretation. Everyone will have their own interpretation. So the main situation, we're asking about a relationship and it's the moon card. So that's a really interesting card when you get it in a relationship. It usually means that there's something going on beneath the surface that a person is not 100% understanding or aware of or conscious of. Uh, there could be some kind of emotional difficulties where one person is feeling something emotionally and you don't understand it at all. Or you yourself are going through a lot emotionally and you are not expressing that or you don't even have a good handle on it consciously of what's going on. And that means that in a relationship you're going to have difficulty communicating that information, being solid or solidified in that information. It's just going to feel like, you know, shifting sand or water. It's just, you know, the moon is a very watery card. It's ruled by Pisces. And it is all about what is going on underneath the surface. So whenever this card comes up about a relationship, I always ask, what are you not aware of? What do you, what do you not have a handle on? Okay, that's the first thing. The other thing is there could be some kind of really strong emotional undercurrents or difficulties going on. So one or both of the partners may be going through something um, emotionally or psychologically. Um, the other thing is that this is a card of things going on underneath the surface, but that the individual is probably highly intuitive about it. If they really were to open themselves up to being able to tune in and more importantly, to accept and not deny what's going on. So it's really about, you know, do you see it, but you just shut the, you know, put the blinders on? Because remember, the moon is at night, okay? Sun is during the day, everything's bright, everything's out there, you can see everything. The moon's at night, you can't see everything as much. So are you putting blinders on so you know it's there, but you just don't want to accept it? Um, so you need to potentially get to the point where you can not only see the things, but then also, you know, begin to sort through them and accept them. Um, what else can I say about that card? Sometimes there's things going on that you're not aware of, so you want to make sure that everyone's being completely honest with you. 
um, that they're being very upfront and that you are understanding what's going on. And more importantly, potentially, that you actually are not being, you know, deceptive in and of yourself. So are you being honest? Are you saying everything that you need to say in this situation? Um, are you being as upfront as you need to be in order to have a healthy and productive relationship? Okay, and the barrier is the Five of Cups. So we all know, I'm sure, the Five of Cups is really a very, very, you know, strongly emotional card. And it really talks about this incredible emotional connection and bonding that we have with someone. But then we have difficulty with letting go of whatever it is that we need to let go of. So there's certain amount of grief, there's certain amount of regret potentially, there's very strong emotions, there's usually sadness, there's usually some sort of difficulty or even feeling very depressed, especially if you put it with the moon. But the point of that card is saying, okay, is there, are there things that you end up finding that you need to actually learn to accept that they've been lost, but that you recognize that there's two cups remaining that are upright. And you have to take a look at what's remaining and then build from that. So it could be that kind of a situation uh, where you really have to say, you know, what are the things that I need to face, need to understand, let go of what I need to let go of, embrace what I need to embrace. You know, how good am I at forgiveness? How good am I at letting go when I need to let go in order to move forward? So those are going to be some of the challenges and the difficulties that you would be faced with if those cards came up. Um, and then the last card is the Four of Pentacles, kind of the outcome card. And this card is a card of much more solidity. I mean, the moon to the Four of Pentacles could not be more different. You know, the Four of Pentacles is saying, I'm feeling very solid about everything. I'm actually feeling much more structured. I'm feeling like things are more tangible. Things are, you know, I can touch and feel them and I understand what's going on. And I'm wanting to really hang on to what I've got because I've really recaptured my sense of reality, my sense of security, um, you know, that kind of thing. The other thing it can mean, though, is that remember this card is talking about losses that... Uh, you need to understand that there could be some loss here and that you have to learn to let go and, and figure out how to sort through those very strong emotions. This could be a card telling us that you're going to have difficulty with letting go of whatever it is that you need to let go of. So it's just really kind of a, a warning card to say, you know, if there are things that you really need to put to rest or if there's things that you need to resolve, if there's something that you need to reconcile, you may have difficulty doing that because you're staying in your own structured position and you're not being flexible enough to let go. So this reminds me of something going on within a relationship and that there's really some, you know, difficulties, emotional difficulties, and there's some pain and there's some, you know, grief or some kind of, you know, challenges. And it may be difficult to forgive. It may be difficult to move forward. It may be difficult to let go. Um, you know, and say, okay, what is remaining and then pick up the pieces. So I would actually feel like if these cards came up and someone was asking about relationship, there would, I'm sure, be something going on with that relationship. But I would probably pull some more cards, actually, because this is really heavy. And this is like saying, okay, or I wouldn't know exactly what direction this is going in terms of are you just having trouble letting go and moving forward into something that would be better for you? Are you having difficulty forgiving and not being able to really pick up the pieces and then build, you know, more? Or is it that you actually feel like you now solidify things and you're feeling much more secure and that's the direction that you're going, but that you're almost um, cautious because of the things that have happened in the past. So it could be any of those things. So depending on the conversation that I had with a client, I may potentially want to pick uh, two more cards or another card. Um, so I would say, okay, well, this is the outcome card. So, you know, what might they have difficulty letting go of? Or whatever questions you think you want to do, I'd probably do one or two more. So that's just an example where I might want to expand upon it because they're pretty heavy cards and I would want to understand what's going on for that client. So I hope you find that helpful in some way um, in terms of interpretation. Please let me know what you think. What you think is not going to be what I think and what I think may not be what you think and that's okay. Tarot is an art, not a science. So 
I hope you have a wonderful day. Take care.